Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to Saucy Saturday. In today's episode, we are gonna be reviewing the Apple Watch. It comes in this very nice sleek case. And as you can tell, I have the gold. Now I, I switched out the watch band of this. And if you wanna know how to do that, there'll be an eye in the corner of this video right now. You can check out how to switch the watch bands on this. But this is the Apple Watch. And this is the 42 millimeter gold sports edition of the Apple Watch. Some features of this watch include like the ability to make phone calls, notifications, um, sending iMessages or messages. Uh, you can do different things with apps, but I love the phone calling thing. It's so cool thinking we're in the future, you can call people from your wrist and it, you really can. And it really works really well. And you can play music off the watch. Like the watch has a lot of features and I think it brings a lot to the table. To turn the watch on, all you have to do is just hit the side button right here. And then you should see the Apple logo. Now once the watch is booted up, you will see it defaults to your clock. And to put the watch on, all you have to do is simply go like this. You see this metal thing right here? You just click it through, so whichever one you want. I want the third one. And then you slide this thing through the loop. And there you go, it's on your wrist. So if you force touch the middle of the screen, you'll see it brings up all the different watch faces. So I can go through them all and customize them all. But um, let's just say I want to customize chronography. All I have to do is hit customize. I can customize the time scale. So like, you know, the order of the time, if I want it just to be a few hours or if I want it to be the whole entire layout, I can do that. I can also customize the color. So let's just say I want to make it like dark green. I also have these widgets on the watch that I can change as you can tell, I can select them and I can change them to whatever I want. And this can be anything. This can be for an app or like um, stock, sunrise, sunset, vine. It's just like, oh, easy way to get to what you need straight from your watch face. And then when you're done, you just force touch it and you can go back into it. And there you go, there's my watch face. So now if you click that button, you go back to the main menu and there's a lot of stuff you can do here. Like if you swipe down when you're on your watch face, if you swipe down, so I have to click that to go back. You'll see you have notifications, so I currently have no notifications, but you can always, of course, integrate that with your smartphone. And then if you press this button right here to the side, it takes you either to your contacts or to the most recent app you used. So um, let's just go back to the home screen and I'm just gonna click, let's say I want to look at my Twitter feed. Now the loading time on this, obviously first, first, oh, and this is another thing. I have to connect this to my smartphone. I'll be right back. I have to go get my phone. But the reason why is because the apps are native to the smartphone and they're not native to the watch yet. So you have to have Bluetooth enabled on your smartphone because it's pulling data from your smartphone. So if you're on 3G, be warned, it's going to eat up your battery and your data. Not much, but just a little bit. So just be warned of that. So here I have my smartphone, I'm gonna turn my Bluetooth on and you'll automatically notice that this thing will recognize that it has Bluetooth enabled. And there you go, I'm already on Twitter. Here is my Twitter timeline. So as you can tell, I can scroll through the post if I want to. And let's say I wanna like a tweet, I can easily do that, just like that. Or I can retweet or whatever I want to, I don't even know what that said because it's facing the camera, but that's Twitter. Um, so let's say I wanna send a tweet, all I have to do is just do a force touch and then you see where it says tweet, I can hit that. And from this menu, you can either tweet what is currently playing. So if I hit now playing, it's gonna tweet whatever song I'm playing on my smartwatch. You can tweet emojis and you can even say something and tweet whatever you want with uh, the speech recognition feature of the watch. The watch has a lot of different app support. So let's say I even wanna trade stocks for my watch, which is pretty easy to do with the Robinhood app. So here's my Robinhood dashboard. And let's just say I want to choose a random stock. Let's choose Disney. All I have to do is go in there, hit buy or sell, I'll just hit buy. And then I can hit my number of shares I want to buy of Disney. And then I just do a force touch and I just bought stock. I mean, you can trade from, it's crazy thinking I can trade from my smartphone, but thinking I can trade from my smartwatch is like a whole different idea. So at the end of this video, the question you're probably wondering, is this watch worth it? I believe the Apple watch is totally worth it. And I think you're really getting a good buy for your money. And I think you're gonna really love the product. It, it looks good. It feels good on my wrist. There's a lot of stuff I can do with it. It makes my life a lot simpler because I can look at my wrist and like I said, trade stocks for my wrist. The thing that I love about this watch compared to Pebble is Pebble is supposed to be for iOS and Android, but Apple has more access to iOS. So that's why it's a lot more 
beneficial for iOS users to get an Apple Watch. If you're on Android, they'll get a Pebble or get something else. But if you're on iOS, of course, Apple Watch is only for iOS. I'd highly recommend getting an Apple Watch. Now, this is the lowest cost edition. It's the Gold Sport. It's not the Gold, it's the Gold Sport that just came out in October. And um, I think the Sport's great. The glass is, you know, it, it's not going to scratch at all. Um, and it's really high quality and I would really recommend it to anyone. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to stay saucy and everyone have a very saucy Saturday.